welcome to Ride Along with Micah, day two. <laughs> All right, so, oh yeah, uh, happy Vlogsmas, everyone. <laughs> happy Vlogsmas, hot man. <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. Uh, so, today is day two, Vlogsmas. I, same thing as yesterday, going to pick up my little niece from school. Head up there right now. Kinda tired, a little cold. Yeah, uh, it's December the second. Countdown to Christmas. Ooh, you know, I I feel like I became became become become more of a old fart in my my adulthood. It's more of a Grinch, even. Uh, I'll even call myself a Grinch. I don't, I don't love Christmas as much as I used to. My favorite part of Christmas is actually canceled this year because Rona, uh, which makes sense. Uh, my mom and I do this Christmas dinner for the entire community of Barsville. I say my mom and I. It's a big deal here in Barsville. Uh, Barsville is a population of about 35,000, probably two or three of the thousand people are involved in it we feed like eight or nine hundred people each year i think we almost fed a thousand last year um so many freaking people are involved uh it's called friends indeed christmas dinner remember i was about seven eight or nine i can't remember the exact age uh when we started it's been going on for 20 years maybe more and uh just this i don't like that camera uh it's been going on for 20 plus years and uh we we started well my mom and dad were some of the founding members of it uh it started off at this elks lodge that could maybe hold 100 people at a time and we had to evolve it to uh, my church and at my church you can hold a lot more people it's a lot bigger kitchen and so we had a lot more. I don't know if I like that angle. I can't get the angle right though. Excuse me, guys. Uh, so, we've been doing it for so long and I got so used to it and now we're not doing it this year because of Rona. So, we got that going on. Um, but I'm not looking forward to Christmas this year. Uh, I made the kids wait till Thanksgiving, like I, I do this every year to put up the tree and um, decorate for Christmas because I enjoy Thanksgiving and I enjoy being thankful for things because I'm thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for, for you guys uh, that all who watch this video who are probably right now in the chat right now. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, Kiana Vision. Shout out to you, Diamond TV. Shout out to you, Slim Jim Longfoot. Y'all be there every single time I'll be posting. I appreciate y'all. Um, let's see. I don't think very many people came to day one of Vlogsmas. That's okay. It's just, we set a baseline. You know, we're going to go up from there. We're going to meet a lot of new people in this Vlogsmas. There's going to be a lot more people getting shouted out. And you guys are going to get a little bit of myself in here. You're going to learn something new about me. Probably. That you didn't know. A lot of people already know most of the stuff about me. But some of you guys don't so um also today is the second and ever since october 1st basketball season has officially been in swing even though they, with corona the nba has been all off and everything like that but high school basketball season is officially in swing and uh my little niece nyla uh no nyla's back manager for the basketball team and TK, Tiquita, you see on some of the videos, she is on the basketball team. She's one of the best point guards Barcelona will ever see, in my opinion. That little girl is cold. Now we're in my school here. My old high school. My old high school. My old high school. So there's a plaque in there with my name on it, actually. I got a plaque. Well, with my name. I'm on the flag. My brother's also on the flag because he uh, he got the same award I did, and 
I know he's so mad because it's a it's a basketball award. Here's a secret. I wasn't very good at basketball, but like I was good enough. I played AAU basketball. I didn't play varsity basketball. I was the manager for the varsity basketball team. But I received the basketball scholarship uh, from Barsville because the, the star player got in trouble, <laughs> which is funny. Like, well, to me, now thinking about it, uh, I remember sitting in the assembly. Like, we have an awards assembly for all the seniors getting their scholarships and stuff. I remember sitting there. The basketball coach came up there and he's like, I want to talk about uh, a guy on the team that that makes everybody better and uh, makes everybody laugh and is really enjoyable to be around and he works hard and and woo -doo -doo. I was like oh he's talking about the star player no he was talking about me I was shocked he he called me up there and I got the award I was shook I was like what I had no clue I was gonna get the award so let's see what else do we have here Oh, basketball season. So basketball season is going on. Um, my little niece is playing. Won't get to see very many of her games because of Corona. Hopefully we get this taken care of soon. Um, I'm supposed to coach a basketball team. The first practice is supposed to be today. I'll hopefully get my results back today. Um, I'm feeling fine. Like my chest hurts, but that's really it. That's really it. Uh, hopefully I can get back into work. I know they miss me up there. I miss them as well. Yeah. What else do I have going on? Uh, basketball practice tonight. Zane. Zane's not ready. He's not ready at all. But it's okay. We'll get him there. Uh, he's a fourth grader this year. But Zane's birthday falls weird. His birthday is uh, in August. The latter part of August. And like how our school system works, if your birthday is September 1st, then uh, you're, that's the, the cutoff date. If your birthday is September 2nd, you have to wait a whole another year to go to school. And so Zane's within that last week or so. And so he's the youngest, one of the younger fourth graders on the team. So he's really, it's almost like he's a third grader, like age wise. And like uh, last year he played as a third grader playing with fourth graders. And so he uh he scored once last year uh but he he played he's starting to understand the game a little bit so we're, we'll get there we'll get there hopefully he gets some height because that'd be great if you get some height our boy's gonna be a beastly post player because i learned how to play post and i learned how to handle the ball so because my brother was a point guard so i learned how to handle the ball ball handling but zane's gonna be a beastly post player or he might be a wing player i don't know so we'll see We'll see how it goes with this year. We had a draft. They make us draft the kids. We They bring all the kids into the gymnasium at the YMCA. All the kids that uh, want to be on teams and stuff. We They bring them in and like they give you a list of all the kids' names. You have like 30 seconds. You watch them dribble down the court, shoot a shot, and that's about it. That's all you see. So within that 30 seconds, you got to figure out some type of system if you like the kid jump shot or or what you get to see him shoot a shot and shoot a layup that's it that's all you see and so you gotta figure out i feel like i picked up the best player the second best player third best player and the fourth best player all on my team i don't know what the other coaches we were looking at but i feel like i got all the best players on my team so we'll see I feel like I'm about to go undefeated this year. That's really how I feel. I feel like we're about to win every single game about 20. But yeah, every time I draft, I draft really well. I usually pick up the best players available. Last year, then the draft, I had my cousin coaching with me, Manny. And um, you guys should look at the footage. Third and fourth grade basketball. It's on my page. You guys should look at the footage. Uh, my cousin, Manny played on my team well he didn't play on my team he helped me coach because his son was also on the team his son scored a lot of the points then we drafted another kid about his size uh that can handle the ball real well with them two those were the best two players and then we had the biggest player in the draft on our team so like 
he was like a foot taller than most of the other kids. So we had the best player, the biggest player, Zane and Jay Sean. We had them both on our team was stacked last year. And I don't think we lost. I don't I could be wrong, but I don't think we lost a single game. We ran through teams. Most of the time we ran through teams. So yeah. It was fun. I don't know where my little niece is. I've been sitting out here for a minute. But I guess you got two more minutes to get out of school. So y'all got a few more minutes of me talking to y'all. Is this weird? Do you do you guys like this? Like, because most of the time y'all just see me cooking and there's music playing. Is this different for y'all? Because it feels different for me. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I feel like I should have a direction. Maybe if you guys are watching this video, you guys want to drop questions down below. That'd be great. Maybe I can answer stuff. Maybe there's something you always wanted to know about me that I'll answer. And yeah, because I, I feel like I want to give myself for vlogs this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to be inside me. I don't know about that word choice. I want you to be inside my head. I don't, I don't know if that's the right wording either, but y'all know what I'm saying. Well, I see a lot of kids coming out. They all messed up. It's cold outside. It's 40 degrees today. You ain't got no coat? You need a coat? You got a hoodie on at least. A couple kids got a hoodies on. She got a coat on. She's smart. But she also has some leggings. I could never be a girl. I have to wear leggings. I feel like that's the fashion. Leggings and a coat. I feel like leggings are thin. Does that keep y'all warm? Does it keep y'all warm? I don't know. I don't feel like it keep me warm. I don't know though. You guys are in my thoughts right now. You guys are getting the raw mic it. Like I'm not editing this. I thought I was gonna edit it yesterday. Y'all seen I wasn't edited. Just added the clips all together and just boom. Happy vlogsmas. <laughs> oh man. I'm not even gonna cut. I don't think I'm gonna cut this one. I think y'all just gonna have to deal with the silence. Just be in it. Ex just accept it, you know? Oh. Where the heck is my niece? Let's see. Should I pull out some some comments? I think I got some comments yesterday. Some shout outs? Shout out to my homie Johnny Tsunami in Kawaii Club. That's my dog. Also, to my nerds, did y'all watch the update yesterday? Did y'all watch the event on Fortnite? Man, when Galactus came out the water, boy, I was, I was shook. And then Iron Man popped up, and then Thor popped up, and then, man, I was, it had me shook. To be honest, I was not expecting all that. And then we got to be the bus, we were the bus driver, and shoot, man, shooting those drones was fun. I had so much fun during that event. It was just straight up fun. Shout out to Diamond TV, she came through. She came through. She said, uh, no food in this video? That's suspect. <laughs> it do be suspect whenever I don't be cooking because I usually be putting out cooking with the king. Um, d Rose Visions, I think I gave you a shout out yesterday, but uh, I seen you talking about my, my chicken fried steak. My steak looking good. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I be killing it. Shout out to the, the whole playlist club. I already said Diamond Slam and uh, Kiana because y'all always be on my videos and I love y'all for that. Let's see. There's other members of the playlist club. Farstorm Media, he's in the playlist club. Uh, D Rose Visions, he's in the playlist club. Now, who else? I'll be forgetting people. Machina, are you in the playlist club? Slam, is Machina in the playlist club? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'm just looking to see who um who comment on what. 
And who's saying what? Lady Capricorn Terror. You don't be on the videos, but shout out to you. Maybe you'll come through to this one. Maybe one of our good on Slims, I'll tell him I gave you a shout out. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get on there and tell him I gave you a shout out, Lady Capricorn Terra and Sam and Britley. Britley? Britley. Sam and Britley. I think that's right. They're also in the playlist club, but they don't be on my videos like that. It's okay. I ain't mad. I'll be watching all videos, but I ain't mad. Oh, my little niece Nyla is here. Oh, hi, Nyla. Hey. What's up? How was school? Mm. You still got your ukulele in your backpack? <laughs> I'm telling you, that water bottle yesterday sounded like a ukulele. I think everybody in the video thought that was crazy. I'm not crazy. It really did sound like a ukulele. By the way, I'm filming, if you didn't know that. Yeah. You seen the camera, just, you know, you gotta get this disclaimer. Did you watch the video yesterday? I know you did, even though you were in it. Um, so, let's see. Shout out to Slim Jim Longfoot, bro. <laughs> it's funny, you posted that video, and I was just talking about it yesterday, but now, uh, how, like, a lot of times family and friends don't even watch the videos. It's okay, I ain't tripping. I got other people that be on here that do be watching the videos. Well, let's see. What'd you learn today, Nala? Nothing. Nothing? You gotta learn at least one thing a day. Like, even if you'll never use it again. Not a thing. Do I got basketball tonight? Uh, yeah, practice. Only practice. It's Wednesday. Did y'all have scrimmages on Monday? No. No? Game Friday. Versus Jinx. Are they good? Uh, they were last year. They were last year? Yeah, but their team, they started, so like a whole bunch of Oh. Doesn't, isn't there somebody off of uh, PWP that plays for Jinx? one girl where's that one that's really good that be playing defense and uh, that be crossing people up she's kind of skinny kind of lighter skin doesn't she play for Jinx she's a senior she was a senior or she is yeah, a senior oh uh, no 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 I'm talking about she's the same age as TK the one I'm talking about because they were on the same PWP team Maybe she plays for a different school. Maybe she plays for Booker T. Yeah. Don't Booker T. Washington got like two of them that play for PWP? Yeah. Because I know they have that big tall girl. And then they had like the guard that's really good. The coach is daughter. She's like the Okay, maybe that's who I'm thinking about. I don't know. I thought there was one to play for Jinx. I don't know. Can't remember. Where's the one with the weird jump shot, but it always goes in? Where's she play for? The one with the, the shooting threes. She was on the elite team, but then sometimes she played with Tiki and them.
Zane's about to run. I'm about to run him. Yeah, run, Zane! He's gonna, he's gonna, run! He's gonna struggle. Oh, God. Are you, are you turning? He's turning. Okay. okay. I just didn't know about the, the one behind him. I know. That's all I was scared of, the one behind. Run, Zane! I'm hitting with that. <laughs> I'm going hard on everybody. Because we only have two practices, Nala. So, the game. Yeah. The game is next week. Their first oh. game is next week. They have a practice on Wednesday and a practice on Friday. That means I'm not playing. We're probably not going to do no plays. Next week on Wednesday. Huh? Next week on Wednesday. I think it's Tuesday. Oh. I, it's either That's Tuesday. For real? Yeah. I think our I don't think ours is the same time. Natural gas. What are these natural gas trucks doing all over here for? No. Neither. See it, Nala! Ah. It was fun. Good luck with practice. Thanks, I need don't it. Don't make anybody cry. I probably will make them cry. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Zane! I'm extra hard on my kids during basketball. That's probably why Molly doesn't want to play this year. <laughs> she could be good. Molly's tall. I don't know if y'all know, but Molly is super duper tall. She's two years younger than Zane. Her birthday doesn't fall weird like that. And so, well, she's two grade younger than Zane. And her birthday's not weird. Her birthday's in January. So it's kind of in the middle of everything. And, um, it kind of, it kind of just works, you know. Um, but she's tall and lanky. That girl got some long arms and long legs and a long torso. I don't understand it. That girl's just long and lanky all together. She's just lanky. She has like a KD build. I'm telling you. And like, she blocked probably like five or six shots last. No, she probably got more than that. She probably got a shot a, a game that she blocked. Not even like not even trying on defense because Molly plays like Olay defense. She don't really want to be playing defense or offense. She don't like shooting really. But she just be out there just be playing around most of the time. But it's okay. Uh she's still young. But when she tried, all she literally had to do was put her hand up and she was blocking shots. Cause she was so lanky. And like what they did was like they'd have girls guarding girls. Molly would eat these other little girls up. She would eat them alive because she was so much bigger than them. And then I also had Thea, who's also a girl on the team. Go look back at the footage, just footage um, on my channel. Uh, Molly, Molly and Thea, they both were big. So I had the, like, probably the third, second and third tallest girls on like their age group, they were first graders last year on my team. Cause there was one girl that was taller than both of them. And she was the leading scorer on her whole team. They, the only time that they won was against us. Molly's team lost every game last year, but they had a lot of close games. We just didn't have any like star players. Nobody really wanted to shoot the ball. Everybody was more passive. They were rather passive than anything. I didn't have no dogs. I need some dogs on my teams. Somebody out there that said, I'm the best player on the team. I'm going to get all the points. I'm about to stop their best player. They're not about to score. I'm blocking every single shot. That's what I need on my team. I need dogs on my team. But Molly, uh, Molly's team didn't have no dogs. They were all very passive. It's okay, though. Yeah. So you guys got another Vlogsmith ride along with King Micah. I kind of hit the wall. I'm not doing that again. I... It's like I've been on like a TikTok craze dance thing. Y'all seen me yesterday dancing in the video? Weird. Anyways, I'm out, guys. I'm back home. You guys roll with me. Peace.